welcome to History Walks. However, in 1882, the statue was rediscovered in the graveyard by the then vicar, William Lowe. He really believed he'd found a statue of the Virgin Mary and had it reinstated in the church with much pomp and ceremony. In 755 AD, it's believed that there was a timber church stood on this site. Saxon in origin, or so it's believed. He held various military posts, especially in Brittany and, of course, Normandy. While St Chad's has its roots firmly in the early medieval period, what we see today is the result of many restorations throughout the 19th and the 20th centuries. come to a place that is today so peaceful hides the history and the battles that went on here in the 17th century. Above our heads in the belfry remain three ancient bells, the first one stating to the Queen and the realm and dated to 1598. from the earliest medieval period right through to the 17th century when battles raged around the walls of St Chad's, it just goes to show you what history lays beneath our feet. Some 800 years ago, the monks of St Werberg's Abbey decided to build a church here in Presbury in Cheshire. But to do this, they had to demolish an Anglo-Saxon church which already stood on the site. Why did the monks of St Werberg's Abbey demolish and destroy such an ancient building and what did they design for themselves? It's here in the churchyard of St Peter's that we find the sundial dated to 1672 and once used to correct the time on the clocks of the church. In this tomb, below this crest of the family of the Stamfords, lays Roger Gray, the 10th Earl of Stamford, who died in 1976 and was the last Earl to live at Dunham Massey Hall. Without the thought and the dedication of Lord Stamford, the land and the building itself could have fell into private hands, but he saw the potential and was gifted to the nation. <laughs> 